President Joe Biden scheduled today included a private meeting at the White House with Cardinal Matteo Zuppi, Pope Francis's peace envoy. The visit is part of the Holy See's peace and humanitarian initiatives for Ukraine, with the plight of Ukrainian children taken to Russia topping the agenda. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, before Cardinal Zuppi's scheduled meeting with President Joe Biden, we spoke with Archbishop and current Cardinal-elect Christophe Pierre, who joined Cardinal Zuppi just across town at the Capitol. At the U.S. Capitol this morning, Cardinal Matteo Zuppi, a veteran of the Catholic Church's peace initiatives, meets with U.S. lawmakers. Archbishop Christophe Pierre, the Vatican's U.S. ambassador, tells us the Cardinal is focused on the war in Ukraine. You know that he has already been in Ukraine, he has been in Russia. And now in the United States to promote peace, something that to date has been impossible to achieve. The Holy Father wants to help for the, in the process of peace, you know. And uh, we, he is fully aware of the difficulties, you know, uh, of the situations, I, th I think. Uh, <clears throat> but he wants to, you know, to introduce into in the discussion, you know, in the, the kind of dialogue. The visit comes as Russia targets Ukraine's port of Odessa, calling it payback for a strike on a key bridge to Crimea. Ukraine says it shot down drones and cruise missiles. And in a statement previewing the visit, the White House said the president and cardinal will also discuss efforts by the United States and Holy See to provide humanitarian aid to those affected. And the papal see's focus on repatriating Ukrainian children forcibly deported by Russian officials. Just yesterday in the Daily White House press briefing, National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said humanitarian concerns would be addressed, including... Thousands and thousands of Ukrainian children that have been shipped off to basically concentration camps uh, in Russia or Russia occupied territory. Separately today, President Biden welcomed Israel's President Isaac Herzog to the White House, the two leaders seeking to sustain ties. And we're committed as well to ensure that, uh, that Iran never acquires a nuclear weapon. So we've got a lot to talk about. President Biden also said in that Oval Office meeting his love for Israel is deep-rooted and long-lasting. He described the friendship between both nations as unbreakable, and he called America's commitment to Israel ironclad. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.